are also closely following a Lexington murder suspect's case. It is now moving to the grand jury. Stuart Watson is accused of shooting and killing 16-year-old Michael Stinnett earlier this month. WKYT's Jeremy Toms joins us live from the courthouse with the latest in that case, including new details from police. Jeremy. Yeah, Victor and Kristen, police say 19-year-old Stuart Watson shot and killed 16-year-old Michael Stinnett on a bike path near Summerhill Drive on May 5th. Now, with the help of police testimony, we're learning more about the moments that led up to Watson pulling the trigger. How are you, employee? Lexington Police Department, I'm on the side of the detective. Lexington Homicide Detective Josh Phillips delivered a police account of Michael Stinnett's murder this morning based on several witness interviews. Phillips says Stinnett and his accused killer, Stuart Watson, were both in their own small groups that day. Stinnett's group left a Circle K on Elkhorn Drive and entered Squires Road Trail, which leads to Summerhill Drive. Phillips says Watson's group then started to follow them before Watson eventually approached Stinnett with a black ski mask on. After a few minutes, uh, Stuart Watson and his friends I had asked to see uh, Michael Stinnett's hand that was sticking out of his waistband. These witnesses, one of which was a part of Watson's group, say after several more minutes, Watson then pulled out his own gun, put it on Stinnett's chest, and tried to forcefully take Stinnett's weapon away. That's when the shots rang out. Mr. Stinnett was able to bend down, and he tried to retrieve his own gun. In doing so, Stuart Watson fired a shot, one shot, uh, that entered into uh, Mr. Stinnett's chest. Stinnett returned fire initially, but then fell to the ground and died at the scene. And Phillips said Watson also robbed someone at Berry Hill Park just moments prior to the shooting taking place on the bike path. However, he has not yet been charged for that particular incident. But because of this testimony we heard this morning, Judge T. Bruce Bell determined this case will be moving on to a grand jury, and for the time being, Watson will remain in Fayette County Jail on a $1 million bond. Live in Lexington, I'm Jeremy Toms, WKYT.